Hello and welcome to Atlas TI. We'll take you on a quick tour to show how you can get started with Atlas TI and gain qualitative insights quickly and easily. Let's start by creating a new project. A project represents your research topic and includes all the relevant data and information for your research. Here, we are showing our sample project, which already has some data and analyses. Let's add an interview transcript to the project. Click on Add Document, and we'll import our files containing the data or information we want to analyze. We can import all kinds of data into Atlas TI, such as images, videos, surveys, social network comments, and much more. To start our analysis, simply highlight any segment of data that is relevant, interesting, or can help answer the research question. Then, we can right-click and apply codes. A code is simply a word or short phrase that describes your segment of data. You can also think of codes as tags that you'll attach to your data quotations. We can create any new code name, use already created codes, or check out the AI suggested codes to get ideas for new codes we could apply. The AI suggests, but we decide. We can also create a memo, which is essentially a notebook, to jot down our ideas. We can write our thoughts, reflections, or any other notes in memos. Then, we can drag and drop the memo from the left-hand panel to attach the memo to the quotation. Now we have our data segmented, coded, and our analytic reflections are conveniently attached to the quotation. We can manually code our data by repeating these steps. But Atlas TI also has many automatic coding tools that can facilitate our research. If we want to get a quick overview of our data, we can generate AI summaries of any document. We just open the tool, select our documents, and Atlas TI generates a summary in a new memo attached to each document. We can read the summaries to get ideas about potential patterns or themes we'd like to explore further. We can also let Atlas TI AI automatically code our data for us. Let's open the Intentional AI Coding Tool. Powered by OpenAI latest GPT algorithms, Intentional AI coding lets us tell Atlas TI about our research questions and data. The AI will identify and code relevant segments of data for us, but we always remain in full control. We tell Atlas TI about our intentions, research questions, objectives, and anything other relevant details about our research. Then, the AI extracts relevant questions from our stated intentions and shows how it will code data related to each question. We can revise the questions extracted by the AI and make any adjustments to the guiding questions and code categories for each question. The final codes remain entirely yours, keeping you as the human firmly in the loop. Then, we can easily review the AI coding results as a list or graphic display of the code clusters. Click on Apply and you will get an overview of the AI coding results. After reviewing the AI tools, we can explore, see more details, and edit any of our codes in the code manager. We can also view our codes as a bar chart, cloud, or tree map, and we can export these images to include them in final reports or presentations. We can also organize our codes into a hierarchical structure as we start to identify overarching themes or categories. To create a category code, create a new code and add the name of the category. Then, simply move codes under that category code to create the hierarchical structure. We can also create code groups. Change code colors and write operational definitions in the comment space of each code. We can then export a text or spreadsheet report to extract our codebook or any other part of our project. All of the managers in Atlas TI work the same way, so we can use these to organize and export reports about any part of the project, such as documents, memos, and more. A powerful way to engage with our analysis is to create networks we can create a new network. And add any parts of our project by dragging and dropping them into the network. 
we can link codes together and describe the relation between the codes. Any associated quotations can also be easily imported by right-clicking on a code. We can also view the previews, comments. The nodes in the network can be rearranged as we prefer, and we can use the different layout options to automatically organize the nodes in the network. Everything is fully interactive, so you can also click on any part of the network to view the entity details on the right side, such as where a quotation comes from, and all data associated with a code. Networks can help us brainstorm, create conceptual frameworks, or summarize our findings. Now that we've coded our data, let's explore our analysis to get the bigger picture. We can examine which codes appear together in our data with the Code Co-Occurrence tool. On the left, we see all our codes, and we select which codes we want to put in rows and columns. The table shows us how many times the codes appear together anywhere in our project, which can give us ideas about patterns among our codes. Everything is interactive, so we can click on any cell in the table to see the underlying data quotations on the right-hand side. We can also view the results as a Sankey diagram. Bar chart or force-directed graph. These data displays are all interactive, and we can export our results to include in final reports or presentations. Next, let's examine how many times our codes appear across our data. Open the Code Document tool. On the left, we see all our codes and documents, and we select which codes and documents we want to analyze. The table shows us how many times the codes were used in each document. We can click on any part of the display and see the underlying data quotations on the right-hand side. We can also view normalized and relative frequencies for more fine-grained comparisons. The results can further be displayed as a bar chart or Sankey diagram. and we can export our results to include in final reports or presentations. This tool helps us understand where in our data our codes were used, and it's great for within-case and cross-case analyses. Finally, saving backup copies is always important. We can export the Atlas TI project to save an external copy that can be imported into Atlas TI Windows, Mac, or Web on any other computer. We also can save our project in the online cloud storage so we can easily download it on another computer with Atlas TI Windows or Mac. Atlas TI also makes it easy to collaborate with others. We can share our project by sending the exported file or sharing the link to the project stored in the cloud. Team members can work on their own copies of the project at the same time. Each person's copy of the project can then be merged together and we can calculate the intercoder agreement. In this video, we've given a quick overview of how you can use Atlas TI, but there are many more tools and features you can explore. With a single Atlas TI license, you have unlimited access to all our platforms, including Windows, Mac, and Web, and you can move your projects across these platforms. You can also choose a license for multiple users and invite as many people as you wish to use it. All users are conveniently managed by our license system. So as soon as one person logs out, another person can log in. This guarantees the most efficient use of multi-user licenses. For further guidance, check out the quick tour and other resources on our website. If you ever have any questions, please count on our free live support. We are here for you 24 hours a day, five days a week via live chat, telephone, and email. We have many international telephone numbers, so you can call the number for your country and only pay any local fees. Our mission is to make qualitative research easier for everyone, everywhere, and we are here to help you succeed. With Atlas TI, we empower you to be the best in your research. Rest assured, we are always at your side.